I guess we've got Tucker. No, not that Tucker. We've got uh, white supremacist Tucker. It seems like just the other day that America's self-described moral leaders were denouncing us for pointing out the obvious. Democrats are intentionally accelerating demographic change in this country for political advantage. That's not why, but you'll even declare later that that's not why. So rather than convince people to vote for them, that's called democracy, they're counting on brand new voters. What's the difference between that and someone saying, oh, well, I can't wait until all these old people that are, that are deciding all the rules die out and the young people can take over? That's what we said on the show. Immediately after we said that, they became completely hysterical. They tried to pull us off the air. They said we were espousing something called the Great Replacement Theory, a well-known racist fantasy. You were, and you're pushing it even more later in this uh, little segment. Right, in other words, shut up. Well, I mean, if you're spouting white nationalist talking points, you can expect that people are going to want you to shut up. Now, should you? I, I don't know. I just think it'd be nice if you realized the things that you're pushing. And you might realize it, and you just want to make money, and that's probably it. And then this week, the new census numbers came out. Here's what those numbers show. The number, not the proportion, but the absolute number of Americans who describe themselves as white has dropped for the first time in our history since the census began back in 1890. The total decline is around 5 million people. Now, that is huge. Experts who study demographics for a living were shocked by it. They'd never seen anything like this. Why did this happen? Where did all these people go and why? They're Americans, remember. Well, as leading Democrats put it again and again, who cares? You're still on top, so who cares? Why do you care so much? Fewer white people in America is a great thing and we should celebrate. Tucker, the fewer white people there are, the more that we as a society pay attention to the needs of those who are not white. It's not a Democrat-Republican thing. It's not really a power thing, except that you feel so offended that your demographic may not have as much power now as they did before. People are celebrating the fact that this is a blow to white supremacy and white privilege. So yes, non-white people are going to celebrate that. It's a no-brainer. Right now, Stephen Miller and Donald Trump are at Mar-a-Lago and they're throwing up because this is not the America they want to see. I was at the White House the other day and guess who's got Stephen Miller's <laughs> old office? Her name is Susan Rice and she's Susan, one of us. And guess who is in Ivanka Trump's old office? Julie Rodriguez. Who? She is Cesar Chavez's oh, I love Julie. granddaughter. Did you hear that? Her name is Susan Rice. She's one of us. Meaning she's Democrat? No. It means she's not white. Us is the non-white people cheering the extinction of white people. What a drama queen. Extinction? Yeah, this is why people call you a white supremacist, Tucker. This is why people are saying you're pushing the Great Replacement Theory. There's not much more you'd have to say to complete the message that comes from Bob Whitaker's mantra. Yeah, congratulations.